Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance today's tool review, or at least it's a new tool, is something by Holstery.com. They just released some new Joey pouches, whether it's a big Joey or the regular size. And I went ahead and picked some of those up because one is I just wanted some to try out, and another is I've got some friends that I'm wanting to give out some Joey pouches to uh, that work alongside of me, and they talk about how they like them so much. I got a percentage off, so I went ahead and ordered some. Uh, but the Joey pouch, as far as holstery.com products, have been my favorite of theirs so far. By It's not even close. Uh, I do still use my square holder. I do like that. The driver master and the tape master and all those things, they've since been replaced with the Nolster or something else. Uh, I just like those products better. But the Joey pouch, I really like. And as far as the original Joey, these are the ones that you can still get on Amazon. Everything else I'm showing you today, I believe, is only available on their website. But I'm sure it'll be on Amazon soon. It's just a small pouch. You know, if I take a tape measure, it's six and a half inches deep. And then their measurements are always with it kind of spread out like that as far as for your width. And you can look at your right around four inches that way, four inches this way. It's just enough to kind of fit your hand down into. I do like the Joey pouch in that this rim here has got something in it that keeps it kind of open like that. It stays in that position. The one downside with this one, and along with all these that you're going to see, so I'm not going to mention it over and over again, is that it has this fabric here that every now and then, depending upon what screws, what you put in there, it will kind of catch on that. It's not so bad that I still would not recommend these because obviously I really like them, but that allows you to also close up that pouch at the end of the day, throw it in your truck, and keep all those fasteners in there, whatever it is. I think it's worth it to be able to do that, to have to deal with the little amount of frustration that you kind of get with your fasteners or whatever it is hanging up on that fabric. It's not that big of a deal. And then on the original Joey, they have slots on the side. You could take and stick a screwdriver, if I can find one laying around here, so you can take screwdrivers, tools like that, stick it down in the side, peek a pencil, stick that down in the side. This one hasn't been spread out as much, but they normally fit down in there a lot better than that. Uh, anything you want to put on the side, you can put that with that, still use it. I think it's a phenomenal bag. I really like it. So what's the difference between the originals, which I've had two of, again, since they first came out, and these different versions? Well, you first, the next step up would be to get a Big Joey. And then they got the Big Joey version 2, and then they got a Big Joey Pro. The Big Joey version 2 is just basically a bigger version of the original Joey it does have a little bit different look. It's got kind of a different structure as far as it's kind of seamed. Uh, so it kind of is a little bit more of a stiff bag. You know, I can wad this up into a ball. I don't know that you can necessarily do that with this one. So that might be a plus. It might be a minus. Just depends on how you use it. Uh, but it's just a bigger bag altogether. I think how that one was six and a half. I want to say it's an extra inch deep. Yeah, you're looking at seven and a half inches. And where the original Joey is four inches this one's five. So you're getting a little bit more space, bigger fasteners, or maybe I think they show this a lot of time being used for different tools. So maybe you've got some tools that you want to carry around with you. And then again, it still has the slots on the side. These slots are a little bit bigger. You can see how that Pika just fit right down in there. Throw you another screwdriver out here on the outside. You could still use this for fasteners, all those things that go along with that. And it still has that zip close uh, lid closes up keeps all everything nice and tight down in there uh, again it's just a bigger version maybe a little bit better stitched all those things like that time will tell my regular joeys have been holding up fine again i've had these for quite some time but i think that this is just a better uh, a better looking bag anyways and a better feeling bag to me as far as stiffness wise but sometimes you might want something that can just wad up like that so that's the next step. This is kind of the regular or version two of the Big Joey pouch. And then you get into the Pro. What's the differences between, because here's a Pro regular Joey in size, and then I also have a Pro Big Joey. And one of the differences that you're gonna notice is on the original Joey and on this Big Joey, it's got this some sort of a plasticky material belt clip. That doesn't bother me at all. Mine have all held up extremely well. They measure an inch and three quarter. All these belt clips do from this point right here to where it clips right there, but depends on how thick your belt is. All these might adjust to a two inch belt if you've got a thin belt, because it will go up farther 
into there and then down to there. I wear mine on my groove belt that's two inches. It fits on there fine. I wear it on my Atlas vest. It's got two inch webbing. It fits on there fine, but it's not a real thick leather belt or anything like that. If you have a real thick two inch leather belt, it might not work. But again, on the Big Joey here, it's got this on the original versus if you go into the Pro, this is a metal belt clip and it looks like it's just maybe built a little bit different. Maybe that's gonna last longer. It's got a little bit more spring action on it than what maybe the plastic one has. So I'm assuming that this is supposed to be better, but I've not had any problems with my other ones. So I don't know if it's a big plus or minus. The next thing is on here, if you can look way down in the bottom, maybe you can see that there. I went and got a flashlight. Uh, it's got a black webbing down in there instead of just on the originals. It's got the yellow type material that the same thing that's made out of the sides. Let me open this up. You can see that that one's just all yellow. It's the same material as right here. I can tell by feeling that. Again, I don't know what the difference of that is. It feels a little bit stouter than what that is, so I'm sure it's a durability thing. Probably going to last you a little bit longer as far as screws poking in the bottom of that again, but I've had no problems with my original Joey causing an issue. But again, if you're going to put tools, fasteners, whatever it is down in there, it's going to work out just fine. But then I think the, the bigger difference of all of it, and that's whether you're getting a big Joey or the regular Joey, and the size is exactly the same between Pro, regular, version 2, whichever ones you're looking at, are the things on the side here. You can see you've got two slots. You can still take a pencil like a Pika pencil, slap it in there. That's still gonna work. So you can still use your pencils even though that looks drastically different. But here's where the main difference comes in. Any of the other holstery products, again, like here's the magnets. Again, that's another one that I still use quite often. Or anything else that you have that has a belt clip on it like this, you can take now slide it into these slots and it's not necessarily the easiest thing in the world to get it set up the first time but once you get it in there you're going to slide that in and it kind of catches so it's almost like it's got a belt on the side of your bag so anything that you would normally put on your belt you can now clip it into there so now i could carry a wire nuts something like that whatever it is and then also take a pair of my strippers and put them on the side on the holstery magmaster and use it like that i could also take you know my square holder slap that on the side of this bag uh, again it's not the easiest thing and i think the joey small version even though it's a little bit smaller it's still a little harder to get it on there that first time but there it is clipped on there so anything like that but like here's the spider tool holster that's got a belt clip i can take and Clip that on here and it will still work as well even though that's not a holstery product so that's the difference to me the main difference is that you've got that reinforced bottom and now you've got an attachment point to attach other things so I could use this with my spider holster on my M12 drill clip it on there like that if I wanted it to be more secure that's the biggest difference whether or not that's worth that extra money to you because the original Joey $35 the original Big Joey is going to run you $40, so that's the cheapest versions, and then you're going to get into the regular Joey Pro is $43, the Big Joey Pro is $50, bucks. so it's a little bit more money, just depends on if you want to be able to attach different things, so that's the differences between the two, uh, again, which one works best for you, only you know that, but I just wanted to share with you the different features so that you could see them, you know, comparison to one another, what the differences are to see if it's worth that extra, you know, five, six, seven bucks, whatever it is for you to upgrade to these pro versions. Hope it was useful in some way. Let me know in the comments below. You guys stay safe. Have a blessed day. And I'll see you on the next video.